doing, sir? Um, please, can we meet you? Yeah, my name is Jamil Sufi, Mr. Jamil Sufi. Jamil Sufi, uh, the leader or convener of uh, Northern Coalition for Pizza Obi. So you are the leader of the coalition for um, the Northern, Co I'm sorry, the Northern Coalition. Yes, I'm the leader of the Northern Coalition for Pizza the Northern Coalition for Pizza Will Be. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Um, all right. Um, uh, this event has been awesome. I mean, I've seen so many top personalities in the Labour Party. But I want to ask you, um, from your own point of view, what's the purpose? What do you think this event is meant to do? Yeah, uh, let me even say, this is a new dawn for Nigeria. This event has now gathered the whole country in one place. This will show you that uh, we are ready to take over this, uh, the challenges of leadership in the first coming election. And uh, believe me or not, uh, there are no way that we are not going to win this election. Because of the caliber of support I'm seeing, nobody were even reimbursed with any single Naira to come to this place. Everybody wants to himself. That will show you the willingness of the Nigerian youth to take over the leadership of this country. This is the first time I will even say we will have a political revolution that is coming from, changing from status quo, from the people that are ruling us from 1960 to date. If you look at the people that are ruling this country from 1960, they are the same group. But this is the only time that we are having that the whole country come together to say, look, enough is enough. That is why, in, on behalf of the Northern Coalition, I think uh, I started with TBN, that is Tech Back Niger. I still love, I love TBN, love TBN so much. TBN is my background. They are the one that lift me up. They are the one that inspired me so much to come to Peter Wabi because I, the first time I met with Jack. So you see, it's now an issue of saying it's a national issue. Peter Wabi is the only candidate now that is the round hall. So there are no way that anybody can say we are not going to win. They are saying that there are only two people, four people in the county, what we call it, there are four people that are controlling the social media. Now they come back to say 40 people. Now they come back to see what is happening right now in the international center. Last day before yesterday, we are in Sokoto. When they see the five star hotel, when we gather in the five star, when they see the crowd, they were in shock. In Kebbi State, the same thing. In Zampara State, the same thing. That is where the cornet is. So this is what we are telling you right now. The Nigerians are ready to take over this country. And we are going to do it. We are getting there. Um, okay, let me ask you one more question. Um, as you know, this event is for the Coalition for Peter Obi and the Labour Party. It's, it's a summit um, for, for both parties. The question is, um, why should Nigerians... I want to talk about the Labour Party now. Why should Nigerians get behind the Labour Party? Why should Nigerians support the Labour Party? Apart from, of course, we're all, we're all rooting for Peter Obi. But why should we support the Labour Party? Yeah, one thing about the Labour Party has so much love is that if you read the manifesto of the Labour Party, it's the same vision and mission of His Excellency Peter Obi. So there is, is the only party that focus on the society. It's the only party that draft a manifesto that look at the what we call it the the economic aspect of the country. It's the only party that look at production in terms of. Uh, the economy of the country. So uh, I am call on Nigerians to rally and come and support the Labour Party because Labour Party are going to win. Labour Party is the party of the day. It's the only democratic party that we have in existence in Nigeria right now. Okay, um, finally, before I let you go, sorry, just one more question. For you, what is the biggest issue that we th you think will affect, what's Nigeria's number one issue right now, the number one issue plaguing Nigeria that you think will have an impact on the election next year? Yeah, the number one issue that will have an impact definitely we, we, where, where I came from is security. Security is the main challenge because let me even tell you right now before in the uh, in the 90, 1990s let me even say 99 to 2003 you can travel from Sokoto to Guso peacefully even in the midnight but right now even on the day the moment it is seven o'clock or five o'clock p.m. 5 p.m. you can't travel from Guso the Sokoto to Guso they will pick you and tie you like a ram so this times around is an issue based campaign we are going to vote for somebody with so much belief that he is going to change the status quo. This is the government of the people, by the people, voted by the youth. 
80 percent of the boats uh, registered voted in Nigeria are youth, and we are going to deliver that change by God willing. So thank, you. thank you very much, sir. Thanks for your time. Thank you.